Yo, it's Duff for the Cloud Chaser TV, man. We back up in this thing again. You dig? On Anthony Wolf Jones, right? Like uh, uh, some 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 journalists and stuff try to paint the picture as 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 Wolf was just a protection for Puffy, or he was just a security guard for Puffy. Is it any truth to um that Wolf was a early investor in Bad Boy Records, and that's where him and Puff relationship soured at because Puff Ooh. owed him money? Ooh, you asking you asking the deep question. You asking the deep question. This is a deep question. And I never really answered this question. Nobody ever asked, asked me this question. You're asking me a question. Puff had ties to the streets. He had some ties to a, a certain gang that came from Mount Vernon, right? And he had the ties to him. So, and Wolf comes from Mount Vernon right so he's one of the uh, i forget what they call him but you know i know what they call him forgive me if i thought the valley from mount burn how far is the valley from mount like yes yeah, it's, it's like it's like 25 minutes so when you think about when you think about the bronx forget the bronx we're going to talk about mount vernon all right so it ain't never going to turn from mount vernon so you got niggas from mount vernon that was like a gang like crips bloods and all of that Wolf comes from a whole kind of family. See, you understand? So let's go back to your question real quick, because the question, when you asked me it, it just made me think about him and think about the history of him and where we at. What was that question one more time? Okay, the question was, a lot of these journalists and things like that try to portray Anthony Wolf Jones as if he was just Puff's security guard or Puff's hired, like, muscle. But from what I've been hearing on my research is that anthony jones wolf was invested in bad boy records early on and that's where him and puff's relationship soured at because puff didn't want to pay him his money back that he invested into bad boy records early <laughs> oh boy i could tell you this right here and i just want this to be this for me it's a nigga who come from that neighborhood that president motherfucking the president done pardoned and he came home so it wasn't wolf it's the family so you know what i mean it's the family and i don't never speak on him because he's a good nigga like i love the way that he went and did what he had to do and came home i can't never i remember how he was on the street i remember how he is now you understand but that was wolf's brother so wolf when you talk about Wolf, Wolf was there and he was part of the team. But it was a bigger team involved other than Wolf. Wolf was just a soldier on the team. And even me, I'm a soldier on that same team to this day. To this so it's day. true. So it's so so it is true that Wolf and some of his associates had early investments in Bad Boy Records. Yes, very much so. They the one who started the bad boy. When you got to go back to the buck naked party, yo, um, four or five, you might have to let them maybe tell um Kurt about you know tell Kurt to tell them about the buck naked parties. The In the comments and let me know what you think. It's definitely the Cloud Chaser TV. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Share this on Facebook and Twitter. Okay.